Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, my notepad caught many bodies, screenshots saw plenty problems, voice notes bag plenty hotties, can't just talk to me like anybody, can't just talk to me like anybody, man, you bitches know that I'm a somebody, and little baby bad, she got a John body. Hey. Bunch of feelings I just couldn't shake, disrespect that I just shouldn't take, you just couldn't see the good in Drake. Four months, not a long time, but you for somebody you just couldn't wait. You broke my heart, you broke my heart. Careers on shelves like Amazon Distribution Center Hell, really hate to call on Broski for the dirty work I'd rather do it by myself crack, crack, crack. Two months ago, we moved to Dubai And today, unfortunately, is our last day here And the reason why we even stayed this long Is to really get a taste of what it's like to actually live here Like we didn't just book a hotel We actually rented an apartment Right here in the heart of Dubai in downtown And it was probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in my life I got to really see what it's like to live out here Literally just do this walk around the downtown area Every single morning I grab by matcha And it's become like my daily routine out here And I'm gonna miss that too Like even the people at the coffee shop shop where I get my matcha from I told them it was my last day and they were more sad than me and I don't even know their names they don't even know my names but you know you just walk in there and you're ordering the same thing every day you start to build I guess a connection somehow but yeah I'm gonna just miss stuff like that the places we've been eating the friends we've made I'm just in my feelings right now because it's, it's two months is a long time like that's like 20% of the year Living out here has just been a crazy experience. There's so many things I love. There's very few things I hate. This is winter time right now. This is winter in Dubai. Like, look at this. The sun's out. I'm in a t-shirt. It's beautiful. It's safe here too. Like, you could literally walk around with jewelry. You could walk around with expensive sneakers. Take your kids anywhere. You don't have to worry about robberies, break-ins, things like that. Like, that's a huge issue in California right now. That's why I don't even like wearing my crazy sneakers. Like, people are getting robbed over there for like military black fours. I'm not trying to bash America or anything like that, but I just want to show you guys how safe it is here where like that type of thing don't happen out here and if it does happen out here, best believe they catching you and you're getting locked up. I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, America doesn't want you anyway. Stay your ass over there. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many factors, man. And the food, oh, don't get me started on the Dubai food, man. And another huge thing that happened out here that really changed my vision and just changed my life was I was able to visit Mecca. I don't really talk about religion on my YouTube channels or any of my socials like that. I try to keep my religion to myself majority of the time. I was blessed to be able to go visit Mecca. That itself was a crazy experience. Hopefully y'all can respect my religion as well because I know you know when you talk about religion it becomes a whole debate in the comment section and I have respect for all religions I'm not here to say what's right or wrong or anything like that I just want to let y'all know my experiences but being able to perform Umrah and, and go to Mecca as well as Medina was life-changing and it was like I was just sitting in the mosque laying on the ground after I was praying and I just was looking at the ceiling and I was just like man like this is the most peaceful safest I've ever felt in my life I've realized over the last few months by making changes to myself and changes I'm gonna make for the rest of this year and, and moving forward like I don't want to sit here and like make this about like cutting people off and stuff like that but just making better decisions understanding your value and surrounding yourself with people who are getting, gonna give you the same energy that's one thing that I've I've really learned over the last couple months and this trip especially has really opened my eyes yeah I wanted to share that with y'all and you know sometimes for me I'll be honest it's not easy for me to put my thoughts into words like I say stuff and maybe it doesn't come out right even when I'm like talking to Mina like I'll say something to her and it just doesn't make sense and I'll have to like spend the next five minutes breaking it down for it to make sense not because she doesn't understand but because I'm just not good at expressing myself verbally very much but I don't want to sound cliche or anything but I feel like a new person I feel like I've opened my eyes I feel like I've cut out so much negative energy and I'm excited for my future and that's another reason why I decided to vlog 
vlog again after not uploading for two months. I'm starting a new series here on the channel. I'm going back to making vlogs for myself that I want to share with you guys. I want to share moments, memories. Obviously, I'm still going to involve sneakers and there's going to be a lot of sneaker content. That's something that my life revolves around. Like if I want to make a video going to a wrestling event, then I'm going to make a video going to a wrestling event. If I'm going to make a video of a trip going to Tokyo, which is on my bucket list for this year, then I'm going to make a video going to Tokyo. I'm done playing the algorithm. I'm done worrying about the 1 through 10 ranking on a YouTube video. If you're a YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. I just want to share my vision, edit things the way I want to edit it, and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Last year was the hardest year as a YouTuber, and I've been doing it since 2007. So that just goes to show you that things have changed, and I just was miserable doing YouTube, and that's why I kind of stopped. But yeah, I'm not worrying about that stuff no more. If a video does good, it's going to do good. That's cool. If it does bad, it's all good. On to the next one. That's the mindset I have now, and that's the energy I have as well. So, yeah, man. Lying, lying to my face. Thought you would have shown a little grace. How can I expect someone who never had their own place to know their damn place? Treat me like I'm. Right here, y'all. First impressions. What do you like? I like them, obviously. Not as good as the originals, but you know, I'm gonna do a seven day test. So we'll oh, see. Oh, we'll seven day see. or 70? Seven. Oh, 70 <laughs> would be, that's way I too heard As you can see, we got a few packages while I was out of the country. So let's open them up. I forgot to put this one on the table, but this box is huge and I do not know what this is. Gatorade, bruh. All right, so this was actually sent to me in December, I'm assuming, because it says happy holidays. Bottles on bottles on bottles of Gatorade. T-shirt, oh, my Mamba tea. Of course I was gonna get this. Oh, this one's from Jacob Star. Shout out to my brother, Jacob. Ravgan, then you already know who this is. Package from my brothers over at Common Hype. Ooh, this thing is Fire, common hype embroidered. This is like an essentials, boy. This is hard. They do not disappoint. Best merch in the game. CJ Fulfillment. I think that's Cactus Jack. LA exclusive Travis concert tee. Sold out at the show, but they dropped them online after, so I just copped it. I copped a few. We got the new Rocket the Raccoon Lego. Look at the baby Groot right there. Oh, Tony Stark versus Thanos Infinity Saga from the final battle. Look how beautiful this thing is. And he's got the Chicago ones on feet. Oh, is this mine? Oh, this is me. Damn it. Travis Mac attacks. We got these Adidas hiking shoes. Star Lord. Peter Quill helmet Lego set. <laughs> Final battle scene right here. Loki Funko Pop with like his original appearance comic in the background. Thor and we got Captain America. Might just start a figure channel and no more sneakers. Oh, we got a pair of dunks. Oh, it even has the wrapping. Probably gonna throw these on my niece. And she's probably watching this. So Aya got some new sneakers right here. These, oh, these are so sick. Look at this, the little heart right there. Satin sock liner, the little eyeball on the back. Woo! The amazing Spider-Man versus Eminem. Look at this, grade 9.8. Remix your late night cravings with the new Chex Mix Remix. Available in taco and pizza flavor. This stuff is good. Ooh. Oh, they got the soul box right there on the side. Usually it says Reebok right there, but they put soul box. Lids, we cooking in 2024 or what? We got the Rodman tee, Chicago Bulls, a little side patch for the finals. And then on the inside, it's got the Dennis Rodman hair inspired look. Prime by Logan Paul and KSI. Cherry Freeze. Now Prime usually tastes better when it's cold, but let's try it anyway. That's actually so good. And that, my friends, is all the packages we got. For now.